In 2020, space probes from a wide variety of nations were on their way to Mars to carry out a wide range of measurements and investigations. It was especially NASA's Mars mission, Mars 2020, that became a major focus of interest. The goal of these investigations is above all to find out whether life actually exists on Mars or could have existed at one point. However, the evaluation of older missions also continues to yield interesting news. For example, the analysis of data collected by the Mars rover Curiosity. These show that 4 million years ago, a so-called mega-flood took place on the Red Planet. This event greatly increases the probability that life once existed on Mars. In this video, you'll get all the information about Curiosity and the recently analyzed data. But we will also take a brief look at NASA's current Mars mission, Mars 2020, and ventures planned for the future. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and stay tuned for future videos. The Mars Science Laboratory, MSL, mission. Back in 2011, the rocket with a space probe carrying the Mars rover Curiosity into space was launched. In the summer of 2012, the probe successfully landed on Mars, and the rover began its work. Shortly after landing, the first images were transmitted to Earth. Since then, the rover has been in continuous operation, even though it was originally intended for a much shorter runtime. Curiosity is equipped with 10 different instruments, which are primarily used to measure the climate, radiation, and geochemical processes on the planet. However, the autonomous vehicle can also take and analyze rock samples. These sophisticated measurements could, in a best-case scenario, identify possible building blocks of life in the samples. The primary focus of the investigations, however, is the analysis of sediment samples. This is to detect whether water was present on the planet and whether it was only solid, as in ice, or also in liquid form. The Investigation Area of the Mars Rover Curiosity The target of Curiosity's investigations is the so-called Gale Crater. This is a huge impact crater with a diameter of about 100 miles. A gigantic mountain, the Aeolus Mons, also called Mount Sharp, protrudes from the center. The mountain is four miles high and even towers above the edge of the crater. Obviously, this is a zone where a massive meteor impact took place a long time ago. Hundreds of different sedimentary layers are said to have been deposited both in the crater itself and on Aeolus Mons, thus providing a unique opportunity to study the evolution on Mars over a period of up to 4 billion years. Previous Theories About the Gale Crater How these layers were formed is the subject of much controversy. There are theories that they were wind-blown debris that volcanic rocks and ash were deposited, or that the crater was once a frozen lake filled with ice and the sediments were deposited under the protection of the ice. Without a detailed investigation, it's impossible to verify, disprove, or confirm these theories. These considerations were key to the choice of Gale Crater as the Curiosity rover's deployment site. The analysis of the data could indeed provide new insights into what happened in the area of the crater. A mega-flood is believed to have occurred here four million years ago. Evidence of water in the Gale Crater Early on, thanks to data obtained from sediments, it became clear that the Gale Crater was indeed at least partially filled with water. The sediments showed places where water moved in streams, but also stagnant waters could be reconstructed. With the discovery of clay minerals, the existence of water on Mars was clearly confirmed, because these can form only with the help of water. Hydrous sulfates could also be detected. Measurements of the atmosphere and planetary radiation also helped to paint a picture of early Mars. 
geological activities, and geochemical conditions made it possible for liquid water to actually exist on the surface of the planet. On Earth, this was a basic prerequisite for the emergence of life. These discoveries made life on Mars well within the realm of the probable. But how did these streams and waters work on Mars? It was necessary to conduct further investigations and take many more sediment samples. Undulating Sediment Deposits That water once flowed through the Gale Crater was already clear. But to what extent could only be recognized by a larger scale analysis? Wave-shaped sediment deposits were identified. These suggest that the water moved at an enormous speed of up to 30 feet per second. Impressively, this power can also be explained by the distance of the sediment waves. Some of them are more than 300 feet apart and have a height of up to 30 feet. It's difficult to imagine the water masses necessary for the formation of such sediments. Comparisons on Earth have shown that similar sediment deposits are formed when large amounts of ice melt. Such an event occurred on Earth two million years ago. But what could cause such masses of ice to begin melting abruptly? Another meteor impact on Mars? An enormous force is needed to melt large amounts of ice. The most obvious conjecture is that a meteor impact occurred. If this theory is correct, this would be the second massive impact of a meteor on Mars. Because, of course, the Gale Crater had already existed for a long time at that point. The heat released by this second impact made the ice cover melt. In addition, a considerable amount of carbon dioxide and methane was released into the Martian atmosphere. The melting ice turned into water, some of which began to evaporate releasing water vapor into the atmosphere. The result might have been a short, very warm, and especially humid climatic period on the Red Planet. What effects might this warm, wet climate period have brought? It is certain that this period continued after the tsunami-like flood, but for how long is not clear. However, it can be assumed that this climate change had a massive impact. Even rainfalls across the whole planet are to be assumed. An indication of this can also be found in other areas, where sediment deposits showed that entire rivers and lakes were filled with water from rainfall. The emergence of life could have occurred very easily under such conditions. Water, high temperatures, and a highly gaseous atmosphere provide the perfect conditions for microbial life. Upcoming Mars Missions to Find Life on Mars Curiosity has done much to better understand the history of Mars. The existence of water on the planet, as well as the perfect climactic conditions, make life on Mars very likely. However, this Mars rover is not perfectly equipped to find and detect life. The 2020 Mars mission in particular is designed to further this search for life. Numerous rock samples are to be taken by the Mars rover Perseverance, which will land in February 2021 and analyze directly on the alien planet. However, since there is always a risk that the equipment will have minimal impurities that could falsify samples and lead to misinterpretations, researchers also plan to send rock samples to Earth. For this purpose, samples would be collected and made available for pickup. A future mission would then aim to gather these samples, but for the return trip to Earth, this would require the first launch of a space probe or rocket from an alien planet. A realistic timetable suggests that it will not be until 2036 that the samples arrive on Earth to be analyzed. Until then, we'll probably have to be patient and hope for more small hints of life on Mars. So, more than 4 billion years ago, there was a mega-flood on Mars, which was triggered by the impact of a meteor. Because of it, the climate changed massively, and there were heavy rainfalls. In such an environment, it's very likely that at least microbial life was formed. Could it be that perhaps even evolved life forms have emerged? 
We're curious about the results of NASA's further investigations. Just the slightest proof of the smallest life forms on Mars would be an unbelievable success. Extraterrestrial life. Mankind has dreamed of this for ages, even if it's not usually bacterial life that we're thinking of. What's your opinion? Do you believe in life on Mars? Do you consider the mega flood on Mars to be a serious indication of the possibility of microbial life forms? Or do you think we're wasting too much money exploring alien planets with no short term, worthwhile goals in mind? Let us know in a comment. We welcome all messages from viewers. If you liked the video, we would also appreciate a like. See you next time.